Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. So today I have a little mini haul. I went over to Ulta and I did go to Marshalls the other day and I found some really good things. So I am here to share them with you guys. And I'm also gonna be getting ready because I need to go run some errands. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of makeup and I kinda wanna try out some of these products. So yeah, if you guys wanna see what I got and just get ready with me, then just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and yeah guys let's get on with the video all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with what i got at ulta so the first thing i purchased at ulta is this clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly so it looks like this it's just in a little squeezy tube um i did end up getting the little squeezy tube because i just wanted to try it out and i didn't get the full size but they do have a full size one in the packaging that looks like this one this is one of my favorite ones this is also the clinique dramatically different moisturizer gel so this is the one that I really really love and I just thought this one would be interesting to try out so I decided to try out the squeezy tube hopefully it works fine yeah it says this is a hydrating gel and I'm a huge fan of this one so I just decided to pick this one up and see what the whole fuss is about so we're gonna go ahead and try this on for today and see what this is all about next thing that I picked up as you guys saw in my previous video I was completely obsessed with the l'oreal paradise enchanted blush so i saw them at ulta they were pretty much out of stock on all the other shades like i said i think this line is just really really amazing so i picked up the blush um shade and charming which is a really nice kind of um bronzy shade so I'm very excited to try this out because I had a huge like impression on the other one. I believe it was called Enchanted or something like that. It was just like a very nice coral blush. And I just completely fell in love with that blush. It smelled really good. So I had to pick this one up because it's nice and bronzy. So those are kind of like my favorite shades at the moment the next thing i picked up at ulta is these two lipsticks by l'oreal you guys i'm a huge fan of l'oreal lipsticks lately like they are really really nice they're very soft very buttery they go on very well and they last a really long time um i have a couple of the l'oreal collaboration with Balmain uh, lipsticks and I am obsessed with those lipsticks they're just amazing they're just like really nice quality and the L'Oreal lipsticks packaging are just so beautiful they honestly look like they're some high-end brand so I went ahead and I picked up these two I did wanted to pick up a lot more but when I was like opening them up I was just like you know trying to see if they were you know in good condition because some people these days they like open up the lipsticks and they swatch them on their hand and you know they use them they like crack them i don't even know what the heck they do but um i just a lot of the lipsticks were hella damaged so i just picked up these two so this first one is in the shade 980 it's called rebel rouge so it looks like this the packaging is absolutely gorgeous you guys look at this it's just a soft buttery like nude shade it's so pretty you guys, I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with L'Oreal lipsticks lately. So this is the shade right here. It's kind of like a berry a color and it's absolutely stunning. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this shade in the back of my hand. Honestly, it is so buttery. Like this formula is absolutely amazing. It's so buttery and it really lasts a long, long time. So I highly recommend these lipsticks if you guys haven't. Uh, tried them already i can't remember how much they were but if anything i will link them down below i'll try to find them at the ulta website and i'll link them down below for you guys if you guys are interested next shade that i picked up is in the shade 983 it's called utmost taupe so it's again the same amazing packaging and this one's more of a nude color it's very like neutral nude color and i just absolutely love this shade so i'm going to go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand so you guys can see it and this one is a very very light peachy nude i just think it's just like the perfect nude you guys so yeah so that was pretty much all i got at ulta you guys like i said i didn't grab a lot of things and i kind of went there for one specific product and i didn't even get it like i'm such a dummy so i originally went there to get a new brow product because you guys already know i dyed my hair and i feel like i need a new hair product like i'm a little bit much lighter than the one i have and i completely forgot about it so i'm ugh, i don't even know what i was thinking but 
I'm probably going to go back to Ulta very, very soon and just get that brow product. Hopefully get another few other goodies. But yeah, so anyways, I went to Marshalls, you guys. I found treasure at Marshalls. Um, if you guys are following me on my Instagram, you guys already know. I did post a little clip on my Instagram stories that I was there and I showed you guys like this um, row of pure Anastasia Beverly Hills you know things like they had liquid lipsticks they had um, lipsticks they had um, liquid highlighters and a couple of palettes down there most of the things that I found you guys were damaged which I was very disappointed but you know life goes on um, and I did show, show you guys on the clip that I did find like a Smashbox liquid I think it was like a liquid metal lipstick or something like that or I think it was a lip gloss and then I found another Anastasia lipstick that I really, really wanted because I don't have. And they were damaged, so I didn't end up getting those, but I did get other things, which I'm very excited. Hopefully, when I go back to Ulta to get my brow product that I totally forgot about, um, I'll stop by Marshalls again and see what I find in that, that time. So if you guys are interested in me showing you little clips, let me know down below and go follow me on my Instagram so you guys can check out my Instagram stories. The first thing that I picked up, you guys, are you ready? All right. So I found this Smashbox liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Bang Bang. And I was so excited because I don't have this shade in my in my Smashbox uh, collection. And I absolutely love these liquid lipsticks. These, the Smashbox liquid lipsticks are one of my favorites, hands down. Guys, I found this for $7.99. These, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, retail for about... 20 to 24 dollars if i'm not mistaken so seven dollars is a pretty dang good seal if you ask me now if you guys have seen one of my previous um hauls i think i did a haul a while back where i got a couple of marshall's items and i was a little skeptical about whether these products were real or they're fake blah 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 so I did a lot a lot of research on if you know the products they have on Marshalls are real or they're fake or what's going on because why are they so stinking cheap and why are they at you know Marshalls so I did a bunch of research so their employees actually did tell me that these products actually come from shopping malls or any other retail store like Macy's you know places like that where the product doesn't really sell and they just transfer it over, you know, because it's been kind of like moved around and everything like that. Or like they're not going to sell it anymore or whatever, whatever. So um, they're real. They're totally real. And I that's just amazing to me. So, you know, I got this shade. This is a very, very bright red, which I don't have. And I'm very stoked about this. Um, and it's completely new, you guys. I always try to make sure that the product is 100% not tampered with because... If you guys are going to go buy something at Marshalls and it's a cosmetic thing, I highly, highly recommend you guys checking them out before you, you know, purchase a product. Because first, you want it to be nice and pretty. Second, you're not going to waste your money on someone's germs, you know. Unless you are you don't really care about it and you're just going to go home and sanitize it. That's completely fine as well. But I'm kind of picky about that. So I just like my products to be like nice and pretty. So... This is absolutely not tampered with, you guys. It's brand new. And look at that. It's a bright neon red. It's It almost looks like orange. It's just, it's just an amazing shade. I don't have anything like this in my collection, I don't think. So I'm very, very excited. For $7, we're winning. The next product that I found is this Too Faced Peach Kiss uh lipstick in the shade breakfast club and it's another red shade you guys how cute is this packaging the packaging is so adorable and it's like if you guys are familiar with Too Faced packaging their packaging is super buttery soft anything that's pretty much the high end their packaging is always super on fleek super soft as well as this smashbox one it's very buttery this one is buttery as well so 100 percent it's real um, this lipstick I got for $6.99. I don't know what the actual full price of these are. Let me actually look them up. Hold on. Guys, these are $21. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see. 
$21 at Sephora. And I just got this lipstick for $6.99. Like, I mean, it's, I'm telling you guys, it's a freaking steal. Oh my god, the packaging of these are very, very heavy. So this, FYI, this is like the first lipstick from Too Faced I own. So I'm very, very excited to try this lipstick out because... I want to know how the formula is, you know, I heard a lot of good things about these lipsticks and I'm very excited. So for being my first Too Faced lipstick and for getting it for $6.99, that's a freaking steal if you ask me. So, I mean, it just says it's moisture matte along wear lipstick infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So that's very awesome. You guys, look at the packaging though. The packaging is absolutely amazing. It has like a lip, the shade uh, color right there. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a little peach. Oh, it's so cute. And it's another red shade. How gorgeous, you guys. It's such a pretty color. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So let me go ahead and swatch this in the back of my hand. Oh, wow. These are very, very soft and buttery. This one almost looks like the one from Smashbox that I just got, but it's a little bit more on the orangey side, which is really, really nice. And you guys, look at that. It has, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like little tiny peaches engraved. How freaking cute is that? Oh my god, I'm so excited for this lipstick. You guys don't even know. All right, guys, so last but not least, what I got at Marshalls are these two products right here. <sighs> oh, you guys, I cannot believe I found these at Marshalls. I was so stoked when I saw these, and I was even more excited when I opened them up, and I completely saw that nothing, absolutely nothing was wrong with them. Everything was on point to perfection. So I found these two blush trios by Anastasia, you guys. So here I have my Anastasia trio that I purchased with my own money. I can't remember if I purchased it at Sephora or Ulta, but I think it was at Sephora. And this baby was $30, which hurt my wallet, but I was just obsessed with this. And I, I love this blush trio till this day. I've been using it a lot. This one is in the um, shade Peach Love. I've used it here on my channel a couple of times. I don't know if you guys remember. So it's just a very nice corally trio. So you guys, this is a packaging. $30 right here. And I found these two right here. They were $9.99. $10. 10 freaking dollars you guys like damn that is a freaking steal so i got two because these are the only ones that they had and they had a lot of them but a lot of them were actually open so i i didn't even when i saw these like full blown like closed and everything i just ran straight to these babies and i snagged them opened them up they're perfect not even pampered with not even touched nothing so the first one that i got um this is in the trio cocktail party and this is what you know it looks like right there it has like a very baby pink kind of like a coral shade and then more like of a bronzy shade i don't know if my camera is focusing that well um but let's just open it up and just show you guys what a beauty and what a steal so this is a packaging this is the original one absolutely the same they have the same you know they have everything. I mean, everything, you guys, is the same. They're definitely, they weigh the same. It's just like the same exact product, so it has to be real. Um, and this is what it looks like. Oh, my God, you guys. And it has, like, you know, a little protector. Oh, oh, I'm so obsessed. Oh, my God. I cannot freaking believe I found these at Marshall's. So, the next one that I got is called Pink Passion. This one's more of a pink trio. It has, like, a very bright Barbie pink, a very soft one, and then kind of, like, a corally pink on this side right here. So, I'm very excited for this shade as well. Look at the shades, you guys. How amazing does that look? I mean, seriously, they're gorgeous. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my makeup because it's getting a little late and I have to go run some errands right now. So let's get on with the show. So I'm very excited to try this out. This is the Clinique um, Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. So I'm just gonna open this baby up and then just apply a little tiny bit 
Um, and then just rub it in. It doesn't smell like anything. It does feel very hydrating. I'm very excited because lately my skin has been very dry for some reason. Like, I don't know, my skin's very weird. It keeps changing on me. But it's been really dry at the moment. So I'm excited to see what this is going to do. Alright, so, so far it feels very, very fresh. It feels really good. So I'm liking that so far. Next, I'm taking my uh, Dr. Brandt. This is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit up there right here. Just so I can, you know, cover up a little bit of my pores. So for today's foundation, I'm going to be using this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the Dewy Smooth. I'm in the shade, what shade am I? I'm in the shade Natural Beige 220, just in case you're asking. And I'm going to be using this Royal um, and Lang Nickel Complexion Brush. I absolutely love this brush for um, foundation. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to apply a little bit, stipple it all over my face. Oh my god, this foundation is so fresh. It feels so good. So, yesterday I went over to San Francisco with my family. Um, I went with my dad, my two brothers, um, my cousin, my husband. Um, we're a huge Giants fan. Um, San Francisco Giants um, baseball. And I absolutely love baseball, you guys. Like, baseball is just like my sport. I love it so much. And ever since I was little, like, I would always watch um, baseball with my dad. And I don't know, I just think like baseball just brings good memories to me and that's probably why I love it so much. And it's just like a such a family oriented sport. Like I just love it so much. I have a lot of fun every single time I go and I just love to go so much. So that's what I did yesterday. For concealer, I'm going to be using this concealer right here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade Sand. Sand. <laughs> I was about to say Sand Beige because usually that's my shade on like every single thing but it just it's just sand so I'm just gonna apply a little bit because I don't want too much blend that in for brows I'm gonna be using my it cosmetics brow pencil this is in the shade taupe if you guys are wondering and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows really really quick sorry um I don't wanna I'm not going to do my makeup like super good, you guys, because I'm only going to go to the store really quick. Then I have to go pick up a few things. Um, so I have to run because it's getting really late and I have to come home, cook and all of that stuff. Do all of that wife things that we do. I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer. You guys already know what I'm going to be using. No, I'm not even going to mention it, but it's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys already know, this is like my holy grail. Love this bronzer. So I'm just going to bronze up my uh, cheeks a little bit. And I'm not going to do it too much because I'm kind of in a hurry here. And I really don't want to be that bronze anyway. So yeah, just a little bit, just so I can get a little bit of color. So for blush, I think I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is the... What's this one called? This one's the Pink Passion Trio by Anastasia. This is the one that I got at Marshalls. I'm just going to take my Morphe M530 brush. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and swirl all of them together. Just kind of create like a little mix. And then just apply it on my cheeks. Oh my god. I love these, you guys. They're so nice just gives me like the perfect rose cheek color that I kind of want. Nothing too crazy. Perfect. I don't want to do anything too crazy, so I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics. It's this little one right here. I haven't used it in a really long time, so I'm just going to use it today because I'm not going to be applying too much. So I'm just going to contour a little bit on my eyes. And I'm taking this shade right here, the middle one. This one's called Frisk. And I'm just going to apply that right here on the crease area. And by the way, how cute is this unicorn brush? I mean, 
you guys it's a freaking unicorn brush these brushes you guys are from moda brushes if you guys don't know who they are look them up on instagram their brushes are just so amazing they're high quality very affordable you guys can probably purchase them online i know i've gotten some brushes at uh walmart before i actually purchased these at walmart if i'm not mistaken yeah i think i got these at walmart and I believe they were $20 for like a whole set. And I love their brushes. They're very, very high quality. Very inexpensive. So highly recommend. And I think I've, I've actually seen them on Amazon. What do you mean I've seen them? Yeah, they are on Amazon. Because I actually did purchase two brushes from Amazon from them. So look them up you guys they're really good brushes for eyeliner i'm going to be using this eyeliner this is my holy grail eyeliner you guys but unfortunately they're discontinued i don't know can somebody please email nyc cosmetics and let them know they need to bring their eyeliner back because it is just the bomb.com and nothing can really beat that so next for mascara you guys i'm going to be using my maybelline total temptations mascara i absolutely love this mascara I think it's great and it's from the drugstore, very affordable. So I'm just going to apply that. I'm not going to do lashes today. But anyways, I know a lot of you guys have asked me um, to do a liner tutorial, um, a brow tutorial. And you guys were interested on my lash, um, my lashes too, how I apply my lashes. Like I said, I'm not 100% a pro yet on my lashes or my brows or my liner. I don't consider myself like a pro. But... A lot of you guys actually ask me on my Instagram like to do a, you know, eyeliner tutorial and a brow tutorial and you guys are starting to ask me here on my YouTube. So I'm definitely looking into that and I'm definitely going to do that very, very soon. Next for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Amorezzi highlighter. I'm going to be uh, using my Morphe R31 brush and let me apply this. You guys, Amorezzi's highlighter is so adorable. It is like blinding, like... Look at that. And I'm like not even like touching my skin hella hardcore, you know? It's just like a very light touch and it's just like blinding. Like, look at that. Okay, so next up for lips. Now, I'm very excited to try out this Too Faced lipstick today. But I'm not going to go with that because I feel like... You know what? Thug life. Let's go on with it because I just want to try it out. So I'm going in with a Breakfast Club Too Faced um lipstick i've never tried these before so i'm very excited how they work um i'm not even gonna moisturize my lips i'm just gonna go like that you guys the lipstick smells like peaches oh my god it smells like peaches it smells absolutely like i want to freaking eat it so much right now Oh my god, you guys, I love this lipstick. Let me tell you, first off, it smells like peaches. I love peaches. I love anything that smells like peaches because that scent just drives me crazy. I just love that smell of peaches. I know maybe some of you guys don't like that scent, but I do. It smells like peaches, so I want to eat it. The formula is very, very soft, very buttery. It glides on very smoothly. And look at the pigmentation. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh, total steal. Love these. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I Hopefully, next time I go to Marshalls, I find more of these because I really like this. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if you did like this video. I had a lot of fun today. Um, I'm very, very happy with what I got at Marshalls once again. If you guys do want me to do more hauls from Marshalls, let me know in the comment section because I am dying to go back and purchase some babies if I do find anything. And yeah, if you guys want me to share more of my hauls with you guys for my Marshall finds, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely do that for you guys. But yeah, so this is the final look. I have to go now. I have to run, make some errands, do some work, honey, because... I'm a busy girl. Anyways, guys, thank you guys again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.